Indians love Škodas. But there's certainly a sense of weariness when it comes to buying a Škoda product. Well, that's because in the past, the company did get a bad rep for after-sales service. But with the newer generation of products like the Octavia and the Superb, certainly the appeal of the products has helped people back into the showroom. And now, when you hear that there's a seven-seat SUV coming from Škoda to India, I'm sure the last resistance shall also melt away. And we're here in Spain to drive the Kodiak. Like we expect of Škodas, the Kodiak will turn heads when viewed from the front. The face is distinctive, with stylish contrasts. The butterfly grille is chunky and it spreads really wide. The headlamps that flank it are slim and sharp. The fog lamps are mounted high up in quirky cutouts. So the Kodiak looks polished, not grisly, like the Alaskan bear it is named after. Surprisingly though, it is as long and as wide as Hyundai Santa Fe. It also looks planted as it has a long wheelbase. But because it isn't as tall as the Santa Fe, it seems a bit more like a hopped up estate rather than a full-blown SUV. It may not be birched, but the squared off wheel arches and the light cladding give the Kodiak some ruggedness when viewed from the side. The beautifully detailed tail lamps are the highlight at the rear. And there's a lot more specialness in this Škoda. Now Škodas, they always like to pack in clever little details into their cars, which just are very handy in terms of the usage. For instance, in the door, we are used to seeing this, an umbrella. And it's there on both the doors, the front doors at least. And there's something here that you may have not noticed. Check out this rubber bead. It's here so that when you open the door, it doesn't bang other cars or on the door and then damage the paint. And the cool thing about it is, watch this, as the door swings in, it tucks away. It's a simple mechanical system. And yes, it is quite clever. Now swing around to the back, I'm going to show you something. Power tailgate. No, that's not it. It's this little detail here on the inside. See that? That's a light for the boot. But it just pops off. It's gone off, right? But it is still handy. Because if you look up here, it's got little lights here. You can use it as a torch. When would you use it? Maybe you have a flat at night and presto. In terms of boot space, even with the third row up, you get 270 liters of storage. And with both the rows folded down, there's enough room to move house with. In terms of passenger space, the third row has enough knee room. But the seat is quite low set, so it is best reserved for children. But... You really can't complain about room when you are sitting over here. Just look at the amount of knee room on offer here. The driver's seat is set to my position. Look at that. And the headroom, again, really nice. And in terms of width, I don't think you can complain about that either. It's really good. You could have three people sitting here and you could have a middle passenger because even though you have this armrest here, it doesn't really stick out all that much. The base is nice and flat and it's wide enough so you can sit here the transmission tunnel is small, the aircon vents are fairly far away. But of course, this is with the middle row pushed all the way back. It slides by 18 centimeters. So check this out. You can move it all the way forward. And even then, I have enough knee room here. There's one optional feature, the sleep comfort package. It is a very nifty idea to help you catch a nap while on the go. In the front, the seats are wide, well-shaped and comfortable. There's plenty of room too. The Kodiak also offers a Wi-Fi hotspot, inductive charging for your phone, a 360-degree reversing camera and a panoramic sunroof. The glass finish for the large touchscreen system is a really nice highlight. The dashboard has a simple but strong layout, with tall air convents breaking up the horizontal slab. When we hit the road, we had the 2-litre turbo petrol engine to sample. 
It makes 180 PS of power and packs 320 Newton meters of torque. This is available between 1400 to 4000 RPM. And that widespread of torque has one big benefit. Now this engine, it's really very usable. We are doing 40 kilometers an hour in fourth gear. Engine's just above 1000 RPM. Put your foot down and it just rolls forward smartly. It is torquey, even at low revs, but the real punch comes on more around 3000 RPM. If you want to drive fast, you'll have to use the revs and it'll get the job done, but it's just very business-like. It's not a motor that you'll push to have fun with. The 7-speed DSG gearbox is quick, but not particularly pleasing. Nonetheless, the Kodiak in its petrol version can go from 0 to 100 in a snappy 8 seconds. When it comes to the diesel, Škoda has two versions of the 2.0-litre engine, the 190 horsepower and the 150 horsepower. The latter has great drivability for everyday use. It responds really crisply at low speeds and feels more enthusiastic because of it. The more powerful 190 horsepower version's advantage is when you're blasting down highways. Also to get you different flavors, the Kodiak packages driving modes. Now the modes also change the character of the engine. Now in normal mode you'll find that the gearbox shifts up fairly quickly and isn't all that eager to shift down gears when you put your foot down. But in sport mode it's holding onto a gear longer. It's really keen to shift down as well so that you get good acceleration as and when you need it. For India, the Kodiak is likely to come with all-wheel drive and adaptive hydraulic suspension. This fine-tunes the way the Kodiak drives. If you go into comfort, the ride is quite soft. I would say that it's ideal for low-speed city driving because it tends to have a little too much up and down body movement at higher speeds. Now normal is the best compromise. It gives you a nice pliancy but at the same time it's not too much body movement so overall driving wise that would be better. But the Kodiak has a tendency to thunk over bumps and edges. Our test car was riding on 18 inch wheels so we do hope that Škoda bring the 17 inch wheels for the Indian market. But of course you have sport for when you are in the mood to drive a little bit fast and that's when you can feel the dampers really stiffen up. The ride in sport mode is actually quite firm and it is best enjoyed on really smooth tarmac. And while the electric steering does weigh up in sport mode, it is a bit lacking. Now the steering is pretty direct and as you change modes you get a bit more weight from it as well in sport mode but on the whole it just feels quite light and especially so when you're out on the highway at higher speeds. It just feels a little too light. And that robs you of some sense of confidence and connect. But no need to worry, the Kodiak is quite a confident creature. It has independent suspension all around and the all-wheel drive system sends a big chunk of torque to the front wheels but it can quickly send power to the rear wheels as and when needed. Now we really haven't got to see the dynamic ability of the Kodiak really but it does feel very sure-footed and through the few bends that we went through you could feel that all-wheel drive distributing torque to the rear axle to give you more grip. You can expect the Kodiak in India in 2017 just in time for Diwali. With Skoda's revamped sales and service network and service packages, customers are being treated to a better and hassle-free ownership experience. So things look quite good for the arrival of Skoda's Kodiak. Okay, so it's plenty clear Skoda's Kodiak isn't your typical big brawny traditional SUV in terms of the statement it'll make on the road. And it isn't exciting to drive. It is quite a tidy little package in terms of the dynamics and performance, but it isn't something that you want to thrash. So is it something that you shouldn't be paying attention to? I don't think so. You should. If you're looking for a seven seat SUV for the urban environment, something that you can really use every day and yet at the same time take out on weekends and really relaxing, 
this makes for really quite a strong package because in the first and second rows you have a great sense of roominess to drive it feels just like a car it doesn't feel all that big so it's really usable in that sense and of course with all wheel drive automatic transmission options it has a great amount of versatility as well and when it comes to india we expect it to be quite well specced and prices should be just about skoda superb so all in all the kodiak the alaskan bear so it may be is really quite a tame one